Welcome to Corporal's Corner. Here's a quick question. Which is better for a ridgeline? Trucker's hitch or tot line hitch? We're gonna find out together, so stick around. All right, today I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I've noticed a pattern that every time I put a shelter video up, I get asked routinely, and to be quite honest, I get asked this question quite a bit. As in my methodology or my reason behind using a trucker's hitch and pristic loops for my shelter construction, or my fast deployable ridge line. And to be brutally honest, um, the questions usually come from non-subscribers, and they're just cruising through and they find my channel, but they tend to ask the question in a, as a matter of fact kind of way. Um, and then they proceed to tell me that, well, on so-and-so's channel, he uses this or they do that. What you're doing is just too much work. And all you need is a tot line hitch and two sticks and you should be good to go. So I thought, you know what? I've been hearing this same thing over and over over the past couple years. So I thought, why not look at that evidence or look at that option objectively and approach it as I'm out in the woods. I want to put a shelter up. Is it easier or is it better just to throw up a tot line hitch and two sticks? So let's go ahead and check this out. We'll find out together. Just take one end. I get a bite right here. I'm then gonna take that end and go underneath and inside of it twice. There's one, there's two. Now I'll go behind this one right here where my loop is. Now I'm going to go around it and back through that hole. Then we'll just tighten everything up. So taking that bowl in at the end, I'm going to place my cordage through there. It's going to form a pocket. I can grab a stick off the ground or a tent stake, place it inside that pocket. Now I have an improvised Marlin spike hitch on this end or a quick release. So here's our tot line hitch for our ridge line. What you gotta do is you gotta grab onto this, pull here, pull this way, and then pull that way. So you're pulling opposites. And that will actually tighten your ridge line up. Okay, so we got our tot line hitch ridge line. It's all set up right here. And I'm already seeing a problem with this. Normally with a trucker's hitch, I can grab onto this, I can crank it down and get it as tight as I want. I can't do that here. If I do that, there's no way to attach this tarp. So I've got to loosen this up, and it wants to fall over here on this side. I want it loose enough to where I can pinch a bite in that ridge line and then pass it through a grommet and then slide that toggle through there. Right now it just seems like it's more work than what I need to do. Okay, so here's another problem I'm coming across. I gotta pull the ridge line tight and then try and line up the grommet on my opposite end and make a bite at the same time and pass it through there. If I don't do this, the tarp's gonna sag. And there's our toggle. Now we tighten our ridge line back up and see what we got.
Well, now that was different. So let's go ahead and talk about that and have a quick after action report. Um, first thing right off the bat, I noticed I'm not able to get that ridge line as tight as I want. And that's an issue for me. Normally I want to set that ridge line anywhere from waist to chest height. I want to crank it down, tie it off and be done. And for this, I can't do that. One side wants to fall and I tighten that side up and then the next side wants to fall. It's an issue for me. Next thing I noticed was taut line hitch is not a quick release. And I preach, preach, preach quick releases on both ends. Improvised Marlin spike hitch with a toggle or a tent stake through it, pull it out, it drops. Trucker's hitch, pull that cord, it drops. I can grab all my stuff up and I can get out of there if I have to. I can't do that here. Now there is one way to go ahead and turn that into an improvised taut line hitch with a quick release. And I'll show you that right now on that. What you're going to do is take off that last wrap. And like I showed before, your second wrap goes underneath. This one goes around the tree. Now we're going to go underneath this one right here. And just like a trucker's hitch, we're going to go ahead and take a bite. I'm going to stick it underneath here. Then we're going to go ahead and dress this up. And try and turn it into something that resembles a taut line hitch. The more you pull, the tighter it's going to get. And just like a trucker's hitch, I'm going to pull right here and we'll loosen it up. But keep in mind, if you got 20 or 30 feet of this quarters left, you're going to be pulling it through and unwrapping it each time. So does this actually save time? I don't know. Next thing I noticed is that trying to hang the tarp itself, I got to put bites in that ridge line, which means again, the ridge line's got to be loose. I got to feed it through there, put a toggle in it, go to my opposite end and try and pull it tight again and match up a bite with a grommet, force it through that grommet, then go ahead and put my tent stake or my toggle through there. Yeah, it can be done. Does it work? It did work. But how much stress am I putting on that ridge line? I don't know. Um, and over time of doing that and continually putting a small bite in there, is that going to weaken the area of that cordage and cause it to fray or break? I don't know. The last thing, and it's very important to me, is once you hang that tarp using this system, that tarp stays right there. There's no way to slide it closer to this side or move it that way or make room for an additional tarp without loosening the whole system up, pulling everything back out, putting it where you want it, then hang it again. So as of right now, I'm looking at this, this is more time consuming and I don't want to be the bad guy, but it looks more along the lines of someone who doesn't know what they're doing, but wants you to think that they do. I don't know. Um, let's go ahead and use my fast deploy ridge line system and a trucker's hitch and see if it's any better. To tie our trucker's hitch, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go around our object Locate some spot on here. We're gonna twist it towards our object or our tree. Now from here, we're gonna just take this and we're gonna lay it down. And we're gonna pull a bite through there. Now we're gonna take our end, we're gonna pass it through. And from here, we're going to pull it towards our tent stake or a simulated tree. The tighter you pull it, the tighter it's going to be. Then from here, all we're going to do, we're going to pinch both these together, drape it over, reach inside, pull a bite through there. So on the opposite end of my trucker's hitch, we have our quick release Marlin spike hitch with our toggle or tent stake. 
we got two prusik or prusik loops right here. I'm gonna slide one down towards my trucker's hitch. I'm gonna leave one right here. Then we're gonna hang our tarp. That's what I'm talking about. Get this thing super tight. Yep, one and done. Another advantage of using the trucker's hitch, this is just a quick tip or trick, you can actually eliminate one of the Prusik loops, use the loop on your trucker's hitch, and I can transition from a lean-to to a plow point diamond configuration in a matter of seconds. Welcome back. A fast deployable ridgeline is outstanding, just my humble opinion. And that's exactly what this is, my opinion. At the end of the day, you gotta do what works for you. Now, my mind's made up, I'm gonna stick with this system because for me, looking at this and actually running through both setups, there's far more advantages to having something like this than to pull cordage out and try and wrap something up. And here's why. Just the trucker's hitch alone, let's go ahead and look at that. Just that one piece, okay? that one piece of the system. I can crank that ridge line down as tight as I want one time. Tie it off and walk away. That loop on there gives me a quick release here, combined with the improvised Marlin or Marline spike hitch on that end over there. Pull the toggle out or tent stake, pull that loop, system drops, and I can go. That same loop on that trucker's hitch allows me to eliminate one of my Prusiks, tie my lean-to, pass it through there, cinch it down with a stick, and I can transition from a lean-to to a plow point in seconds. Now the Prusix. The Prusix allow me the freedom to slide my tarp without loosening the ridge line and move that tarp anywhere I see fit, or move it to allow for another configuration, or multiple tarps. And the best part of that is it doesn't damage my cordage by creating a bite and passing it through that grommet every single time. Now, the best part of this whole system the entire system put together is that it wraps up into a nice neat package like this. This is 25 foot. You make these in a 50 foot or 100 foot. You can toss it into a pack or a glove box and it remains tangle free until you need it. Just that alone, for me, is worth its weight in gold. Now, all the gear that you've seen today is available on my Amazon influencer page. I'll put a link in my description box. Please do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. This way I'll never miss another video ever again. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm gonna catch you next time.